hi guys what's up welcome or welcome back to yet another day of my life <laughs> so basically i just finished making dinner right now and let me show you guys what's in for dinner it looks so delicious i tried a new recipe so let me show you guys so basically we have some yaksha with kewa and firstly i just pressure cooked the yaksha and then the yak meat and then the potato and then added some cheese and some onion leaves and this is how it turned out looks delicious but i hope it tastes as it seems and just waiting for the rice to settle down i think i put too much water so anywho guys let's have dinner in some time but before we start to have a dinner i really want to thank japanese silk and boutique for these amazing products thank you so much and i actually made really delicious matcha as well so basically they gave me this matcha flavor vegetable food mix and trust me guys this is so much better than the ones that you actually get in town and even when i tried making the latte it tastes so delicious i was never like a really matcha latte person but after i got my very own matcha and i tried making it at home with some soya milk and ice cubes and some maple syrup it just tastes delicious i'll try making it tomorrow morning so you guys can have a look about how i actually make my matcha latte thank you so much japanese silk and boutique how sweet of them and some face sheets who doesn't love face sheets and the next thing is this capsules it's called the placenta capsules really good for your stomach really good for your skin overall really healthy choice if you want to live a healthy lifestyle i actually took one pill and i feel like my skin is glowing eh. but yeah really guys i really love this i did a lot of research because usually what you input in your body is really important and you have to be careful especially as you age and definitely this is something worth trying so you can get it at japanese silk and boutique i'll leave the instagram handle here so go and check it out authentic genuine products from japan directly and the next thing is how kind of them they even sent me this cute tumbler and i actually made my matcha latte here and it is so delicious so thank you so much japanese silk and boutique once again so sweet of them i didn't expect i was at home they did send me a message that they'll be sending me some products to try and as soon as the doorbell rang that already sent it through the joba joba delivery person how sweet thank you so much and really love it and awesome customer service if you guys want to try these matcha lattes and lead a healthy lifestyle just go and visit japanese silk and boutique instagram handle not just promoting it because they gave it to me for complimentary benefits but then also on a very genuine level i think we have to start being very cautious about the health and this is like my first step towards healthy lifestyle enlightenment <laughs> so anyway guys let's eat now i'm so hungry <laughs> try my yaksha and rice and this is like the first time i actually prepared this recipe so i'm pretty skeptical about how it turned turned out to be so wish me luck guys and i'm going to eat with my hands because bare hands give such a flavorful addition to the food as compared to spoon and fork especially when you eat meat this is the charm of delicious food so let's try Okay, I'm already salivating. It smells so good and so sweet. I was like actually craving for yak meat and my mom so kindly she sent it to me from Pinsling. She actually purchased it from Thimpu and when she got from Thimpu she was telling me like just keep two packets and I was like no it's okay I don't know how I don't know how to cook meat. I don't want to take all the hassle and all. Later on I had really bad craving. When I tried to order from the Bhutanese restaurants I didn't really get that home feel taste and I was like really craving for it. Even during the weekend I made some yak meat with some dried turnips and so sweet and how kind of my mom to send it to me and ever since that day i've received the yak meat i've been trying different recipes so good so let me just see how this one turned out okay okay it's hot okay hot 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 mm. Mm. so good so good mm. Mm. I tried making like in a different style. This time I made it more like a dancey style. The previous time I made it more fried, but this is really not nice as well because I do want to make an extra curry. Usually I make two curries, one soupy, one dry. This time I just wanted to make one curry, so this is like perfect. Mm. So good. <laughs> So you guys, 
suppose, after my dinner. Bye-bye. <laughs>
interesting and all fun but just the moment when you have to wake up early in the morning that is like a real killer but somehow i manage and hopefully this nine to five monodromas life has some exciting changes and we are ready to go i think today i'm quite early as well i usually try to wake up by seven but my eyes just don't open until 7 30 and even if i wake up at seven i just love this pearl bracelet even if i get up at seven i get up make tea make some breakfast but still my eyes like really burn because of the drowsiness so i just try to elongate my sleep by sleeping at least at 7 30. so anywho guys i think we're almost done now and that is pretty much the simple get ready with me while going to my workplace i just have to apply some lipstick and then we're good to go just open the skirts just waiting for a cab